I've been getting a ton of requests to kind of do a little demo with my Poochie's practice hand. This is my girl Bella. You can purchase her off of the nailartboutique.com. I'm going to be showing you how you can place another tip onto that nail without having to soak them off when you're ready to change that set. We are going to be using carpet tape for this step. Poochie herself gave us this suggestion and I went ahead and tried it and it is a lifesaver. So what you want to do is just take some scissors and cut off a tiny piece of that tape. So the key part of doing this successfully is not covering the entire tip with it. So you want to just place it enough to where it'll hold it on right but it won't overly hold it. So I'm going to be placing this right in the middle of that nail. These hands do come with nail tips already on there so you can just leave it on there and then do this step and you'll be good to go. So as you can see, the outer corners of that nail tip is still empty. There is no carpet tape on that and that is kind of what you want. So you can be able to pop it off whenever you're ready to take it off. So you just peel off the backing of it now I'm going to take the nail tips that the hand came with. These are the ones that you use as the natural nail bed, the ones that are already on there. These are the exact same ones. So if I were to soak them off, I would use these to replace them. I'm going to be taking a nail and just placing it right over top of that tape and then firmly pressing it into place. You are basically creating a press on nail for your practice hand. This stuff works so good. So I do recommend you guys do this instead of soaking them off every single time. Now I'm just taking my nail clippers and clipping off the excess. I'm going to treat this as if it's a natural nail and pretend there's not two nails on there. And I'm just going to file it into shape with my peel and stick file from Tammy Taylor. And I went ahead and did the rest of the nails on the practice hand and applied the tips. So whenever you are ready to remove that nail, all you have to do is kind of wiggle it off and it'll come right off. So it is a lifesaver when it comes to not having to soak off nails because soaking off nails is such a long, long process. So I went ahead and placed the tips on there and now I'm just cutting off. Again, the usual, I am doing extra long nails on her. I'm taking my peel and stick file and just filing the sides, making sure everything is nice and flush. And of course, we're going to repeat that on all fingers. And I'm going to just kind of file the free edge of that nail into shape. I'm just taking my mandrel bit with my sanding band and going ahead and making sure that the tip is very flush to that natural nail bed. I'm using the Kiara Sky E file at about 4,000 RPMs. We are using the Not Polish Colorful Acrylics in number 142, M63, G8, M70. 115 we are also using the profiles backstage acrylic monomer and sculpted like it's hot from profiles in the number six we are also using in this combination nude panther my go-to nude highly recommend it if you guys are interested so the pattern that i'm going for is pink to orange to yellow to green to blue to purple and I'm doing this in a slanted direction across the nail. We are going to ombre this with the nude color. So I am not going all the way up to the cuticle. I am stopping where the free edge of the natural nail bed starts. So I am taking each one of those colors and just placing them right after one another. They are subtly blending into each other, so it creates its own little like marbleized, blended, colorful rainbow look. I am deeply obsessed with neon bright colors paired with nude, and you guys already are probably very well aware of this. So I figured rainbow is in right now, and I wanted to create another rainbow look. 
And so this is what I came up with. I actually really liked how it turned out and I hope you guys like it too. So now I am just taking some more of those colors and filling in any spots that were more on the sheer side if I didn't put enough product. I'm just going in and filling those areas and kind of lightly blending them out with the others. Now I'm taking my Nude Panther and placing that in that middle section and lightly blending it down. You wanna make sure that you blend it nicely so it all flows perfectly. Now I'm taking another bead and again, just blending that out, leaving the cuticle area for the end so I make sure I do that precisely. You wanna take a smaller bead and just place it in the cuticle area and push it up gently so it does not flood in that area. And there you have it. Now I'm just going to repeat that on all of my other nails. I did start at the bottom this time placing the purple, the blue, I don't know. I just figured it would be easier. It doesn't really matter where you start. It kind of just depends on your preference. And I ended up switching it up. Do not overthink it. I say this every single time when I'm creating a marbleized look. Just go for it. It is going to look absolutely stunning no matter what. Rainbow is in right now, so give it a go. It is so fun to create, so easy. If you guys have any other suggestions, any nail designs, any nail art that you guys wanna see, don't forget to comment down below and let me know. I am always open to suggestions. Sometimes I get in those creative blocks that I just cannot think of what to create for you guys. So by all means, give me some suggestions. I need it at this point. I feel like we're all kind of stuck right now. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish off the nails, let you guys kind of see how I do it. If you guys are looking for a more in-depth nail tutorial on the ombre nails, I have one and I'll link it. So if you guys want to check that out, you guys can. Make sure you guys are listening to all of my videos. I say so much different information in every single one of them. You might be interested in how I clean my nail brushes and I do insert that in one of my videos. So make sure you guys are just watching all of them because I do sneak some important information into every single one of them. And of course, y'all already know I like to encapsulate all of my nail designs no matter how simple they are. I'm going to be encapsulating, so make sure you guys do that. We want to protect our nail art as much as we can. And encapsulating with clear is absolutely gonna protect it. Whenever we go into file, we are not going to ruin any of that design. I would like to mention that I only do it really from like mid nail down. I don't ever really go too near the cuticle area because we don't want that area to be thick. We want the thickness to be at the apex area and down to the tip of the nail.
once you are done encapsulating, I'm taking my e-file at a speed of about eight to 9,000 RPMs. This is a fine carbide bit. So this is going to help me file everything nice and smooth. I'm just softly going over top of the surface of the nail and smoothing everything out. Now I'm just taking my peel and stick file from Tammy Taylor and we are going to be perfecting that shape. This is the point where you want to make sure you are aware of any imperfections on the nail. You want to fix it at this point. This is right before you are done so you want to make sure everything is nice and perfect and then we are able to buff. So I'm going on the sides of the nails perfecting that shape and once I'm done with the sides I'm going to be turning the hand around looking at the hand at the perspective of the client. This is going to help you see everything from their angle and you can see if anything needs straightening out or whatever the case is. You are going to get the best shape by turning the hand around so make sure you do not forget to do that. Now I'm taking my sponge buffer from Profiles Backstage. Do not forget to use my discount codes if you guys are interested in any of the items that I used in this video. It will save you guys some money. I'm just going ahead and buffing everything into smooth perfection. This is our final step before we top coat. So I am buffing away until it is nice and smooth, taking my Kiara Sky Duster and just dusting off that excess. I'm taking a lint-free wipe with some swipe on there and just cleansing the nails and my hand so there's no dust particles. Taking Not Polish Matte It, we are going to top coat those nails. You want to make sure you are covering it all the way through. And then we are going to cure for 60 to 90 seconds. I like to do 90 seconds because this just ensures everything is fully cured all the way around. And this is the final product. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys so much and I will catch you guys next time. Yeah.